All right, so we're back. Now we're going to go through memory. So this is what I've called in like some other stuff uh, and like trade show demo videos and stuff like that, deep memory. This is saving patterns to the SD card. So variations are always saved to the variation memory. And you can, you know, while you're working inside of a session, you can move around the different variations. But memory is how you save something in order for power down and power back up or just for later use, right? So to explain memory just a little bit more, I'm going to pull up my version of the manual. It's a prototype. And um, we're just going to say, we're just going to read a couple things. So we can do 512 sessions addressed in banks of 64 across eight projects. So a project is a folder. That's when you look at it on your computer, it's going to show up like a folder. A session is a file within that folder. So a session is a recallable memory slot that includes all five variations and a bunch of other stuff. So if we go back to the beginning of the manual and we just look at the diagram, the Metron flowchart here, overview of Metron structure, we can see that inside of a session, we have internal clock settings, which means like your tempo and your shuffle and stuff. So that's saved to a session. You have assign type and enable. So for your assignable inputs, mute scenes, mute scenes are just basically like mute groups. Those get saved as well. And then your per track shuffle settings. So anything like that gets saved, not to mention all five variations with all the track data and your S bus data and stuff like that. So what doesn't get saved with a session gets saved just globally. And so that's your global settings, your role patterns, anything that you like made customs, you know, your custom role patterns. Effects enables, so inside of your effects page, it's just laid out the same way every time. This way, you know, if you're using the same instruments, you don't have to like, you, you don't need to be saving those with every single um, session and you don't have to set them up. This way they're just always there, they're always the same and it's really nice. Mute status is saved with power up so when you turn it on certain things are muted, certain things aren't. So to save and load, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our manual, you can check it out if you want, I'm gonna set it down because I know how to do this. We're gonna make ourselves a pattern. I think we already got one. Oh, I got this halftime thing going from our uh, Burst and Gate video. I'm gonna duplicate this over to every track and then I'm just gonna change the different tracks around so B I'm gonna put a four on the floor thing I'm gonna change up the patterns for C so we'll go to C change up the clap pattern go to D change up the clap pattern even more and you know I'm just doing this so you can see that I've got everything on variations so I'm gonna go back to A We'll be listening to A, and now I want to save this to memory, right? So I'm going to go into the memory mode. Press memory, now I'm there. You can see all this stuff that I have saved already. So if I go through, I can hold clear, and I could clear memory slots if I'd like. So I'll just do that so we can see where we're at. I'm going to keep these ones because I like those, but I'll clear all these so it looks relatively fresh. Yours is going to be completely blank when you get into it. So now... We're just going to select the memory slot we want to save to. So I'm just going to say number one. This is telling me that I'm on it. This is telling me that I'm on it as well. I can move around and these are all blank sessions. So I can move and say, okay, I want to save to session A01. If I want to move through projects, I just turn the page encoder and these are your different projects. So it basically just goes up to H. Those are your eight different projects. We're just going to stay in project A. This is just, there's 64 slots in every project. So there's no reason to really like break it all out until you're really getting into the nitty gritty of like, okay, project A is my set for this. Project B is my set for this. So now I'm just going to say, I want to save. So here's my save button. This is telling me that it's armed to save. It's asking me if, it's, if I'm sure to do it. If I am, I just press save again. It goes busy real quick just to let you know that it's going. But now this is saved and we didn't stop. Doesn't mess up with your patterns at all. It doesn't hiccup anything. You can feel free to save in the middle of a show or in the middle of whatever. Um, it's not gonna cause any hiccups. It's just gonna save it to memory. Now we'll go over, let's just load a blank session. So I'm gonna go to three. 
This is a blank session, you can tell, because there's no LED lit. And I'm just going to say load. So now I've got nothing on there, and I've got a blank session. If I want to load the one we just saved, I go back to one, hit load twice. At the end of the bar, it will load. So that's one thing to note. This is all quantized, which is super awesome. So let's just say we want to go here, and I'm going to copy B to A, so that way we know what it's like, and we're going to save this to um, slot number two. So now if I recall number one, at the end of the bar, it's going to load. Boom. Right, so this is another way to just, you can do this in the middle of your sessions. You got a bunch of variations up here. What I like to think about it, like is it a session, is a place to start. I like to think of it as like, this is where I'm gonna start my set or start my song, and I can load my starting point. And then I can go through and I can play all the different variations, I can edit stuff, I can mess around and just be crazy. If I want to reload the, sit the session, I can. Or if I want to just go into the next song, I just load the next track. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it does do uh, your shuffle value, or your yeah, your shuffle value, your tempo value, your per track shuffle. So all of that kind of stuff is saved to the session. So if you want to just like drastically change the tempo in the middle of your track, of middle of your set, you can do that. So again, when we're just doing a standard session load, this is loading the entire session, which includes all of that data that I mentioned earlier. If we want to just load the variations without loading the extra data, like the tempo stuff, we can. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into memory mode, you're going to hit load, and this is saying I'm armed to load, and now I can go through here and say what I want to load. So I'm in this session, I'm looking at this session, I can load variation E. I can load all variations. And if I do that, that's just going to load all my variations without doing all the pattern data. So if you'd like to load stuff instantly and just load your variations instantly, you go into memory mode and hold the load button and then just press the session you want to load. That'll take you back out of memory mode because it's just an instant load of all variations. It doesn't do the session data as well, it's just the variations. So if you wanna just like, if you're in the middle of a set and you just wanna load all your variations from scratch again, but you don't wanna load all the other data that maybe you've been messing with that kind of stuff, then you can just do that and that happens instantly. It's super quick. SBUS loading, so you can, this thing works with SBUS, so you can send it a program change and tell it to find new memory slots. And that, if you want to enable that, go to the global setting, find SBUS, and then just switch that to in. That means that it's trying to receive SBUS data. And then to clear a memory slot, I already showed you that, you just literally go into memory, hold clear, uh, sorry, hold clear, and then press the slot you want to clear. So super fast way to get around. And again, loading and saving doesn't stop your sequencer, which is just music to my ears. I love it. All right, so that's memory. Save and load on the fly. Have fun, and uh, we'll see you next time.